because if you spoke it, it is and it is so in the name of Jesus. So right now, Lord, we thank you for Brother Treshawn yesterday, the young people that came and gave their lives, Lord. Well, wherever they go with it from here, Lord, you are also going to direct that. We thank you, Lord. We're not in control of anything, but all things are controlled by you because, Lord, all things know you and you know all things. We thank you right now. But what you're about to do with this word, this word is not to glorify, magnify no man, but it's to glorify and magnify what you put to do the work through man. And for that, we say thank you in Jesus' holy name. Amen. 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 Praise the Lord. Uh, praise the Lord. Uh, I thought I said it. Oh, praise the Lord. Um, we are going to look at your neighbor and say, neighbor. Neighbor. Are you scared of the dog? Are you scared of the dark? Yeah, 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 yeah. Are you scared of the dark? Scared of the dark is the title of our sermon. Scared of the dark. If you have your Bible, we're going to be studying from the book of um, book of um, John, chapter three, verses one through twenty. One through twenty again. I want to thank God for our pastor. She did an awesome Amen. job yesterday. Moderating. Moderating that ongoing. And I tell you, it was hard. It was, it was hard not to let that turn into a funeral. I mean, it was hard. It was hard. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Even, even with as much spirit of Jesus that we had, it was still heavy up in there. Amen. Amen. Yeah, until God, until, until Tracy told me to tell him. And the whole place lit up. It's okay. It's okay. Tell him, it's okay. 
He told me to tell him. He said, tell, tell my mama, don't worry, baby, I'm okay. He said, tell my sister, I'm okay. It's okay, mama. It's okay, sister. He said, tell my friends. And he came to me the night before. He said, tell my friends, it's okay. He said, but tell my enemy, the one that shot me, he said, tell him thank you. <laughs> he said, tell he said, tell the one that shot me and, and led me to be where God is. He said, tell him thank you. He said, tell everybody else, it's okay. He said, but my enemy, see, because you got to, like I told you, and the pastor said she didn't see it, hate killed him. Yes. Amen. So he went straight to heaven because hate can't win. You better hear the word of God. Huh? Yes. Hate killed him. So he went straight to heaven because hate God. can't win. Hallelujah. So he told me to tell his enemy. Yes. It ain't okay. Thank you. Help those love yes. body. Yes. Amen. Yes. Praise the Lord. All right, saints. So um, Today, scared of the dog, scared of the dog. Uh, we're coming from Nicodemus 3, uh, Nicodemus, John 3, um, verses 1 through 20. Amen. I don't know how God's going to go through this, but I know he's going to lead us through it. Amen? Amen? And the word of God reads, the living translation, there was a man named Nicodemus, a Jewish leader, who was a Pharisee. After dark one evening, he came to speak with Jesus. Rabbi, he said, we all know that God has sent you to teach us. Your miraculous signs are evidence that God is with you. Jesus replied, I tell you the truth, unless you are born again, you cannot see the kingdom of God. What do you mean, Nicodemus exclaimed? How can an old man go back into his mother's womb and be born again? Jesus replied, I assure you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and the spirit. Humans can re reproduce only human life. But the Holy Spirit gives birth to the spiritual life. Don't be surprised when I say, you must be born again. The wind blows wherever it wants, just as you can hear the wind, but you can't tell where it comes from or where it is going. You can't explain how people are born of the Spirit. How are these things possible, Nicodemus asked. Jesus replied, you are a respected Jewish leader, and yet you don't understand these things? I assure you, we tell you what we know and have seen, and yet... You won't believe our testimony. But we, you don't believe me when I tell you about the earthly things. How can you possibly believe me if I tell you about heavenly things? Yes. No one has ever gone to heaven and returned, but the Son of Man has come down from heaven. And as Moses lifted up the bronze snake on a pole in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up. So that everyone who believes will have eternal life. For this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only son so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. God sent his son into the world, not to judge the world, but to save the world through him. There is no judgment against anyone who believes in him. But anyone who does not believe in him has already been judged for not believing in God's one and only son. And the judgment is based on this fact. God's light came into the world, but the people love the darkness more than they love the light. God's light came into the world, but the people love the darkness more than it loved the light. For their actions were evil, and all who do evil hate the light and refuse to go near it, for their sins will be exposed. Uh -huh. But those who do what is right come to the light so others can see that they are doing what God wants. Everybody always talk about how transparent God, Bishop is. Believe me, if God was not the center focus of my life and I was assured that he was in control of my life, I would tell you the things that I tell you. I cannot doubt, because uh, somebody asked me, told me the other day, they say, Bishop, you just will kill yourself when you apologize. I say, I say, I say, I say, if I apologize to you right now, I, I am only appeasing you because you know, I, I feel you know, I know, I know, you know, I know you need that. So I will appease you. I said, you know me well enough that I'm only appeasing you. Because I can't really apologize to you and please you because if I do that, that means I will be unpleasing to God because how can I be a man of God here and anything else out there? And that means I'm a, I'm, I'm a truth sayer up here and a liar out there. Either I'm a truth sayer out there and a liar up here. So you gotta you gotta be one or the other. God said, I don't want you lukewarm. Help me out, somebody. 
so now as I hear you, I want you to know that in order to do these things, you you got you can't be afraid of the dark. My Lord. See, the problem is I'm afraid of the dark because what I dark is what I'm doing that I think nobody can see. You better hear the word of God. Now, are you afraid of the dark? You think nobody can see what you're doing, but but my thing is, do you do you do you value God enough to know that and, and know that He's real enough to know that He knows all things, He sees all things, and He created all things. So who do you think you're hiding from? Scared of the dark. So here was Nicodemus again, um, thinking he was going somewhere where his fellow Pharisees could not see him talking to the one that they wanted to kill. Come on, somebody. He, he said he was he went out one night in the dark. He, he could have went to DC Jesus in the daytime, but no, 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 no. He might have been seen. Yes, come on now. He might have been seen. So what we do is we 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 we. we uh, 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 I'm glad you didn't come on a, 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 a Monday night service before you came to a Sunday service. You really hear the word of God. I, 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 I thank you because I, I know you don't mind being Be. seen. Hello, somebody. Amen. I know you don't mind being seen. Amen. Scared of the dark. Oh, and as I hear this, I said, Nicodemus, at the dark one night, now that I told you where you are in your place of darkness and light, now I want to tell you what to do about your dark. When Nicodemus was in a dark place, he was in a place where he was perplexed, he was confused. He, 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 was, he, he didn't know if up was down or down was up. So he went to the one that was, was telling him things that he didn't know. When you don't know if down is up or up is down, the right is wrong or wrong is right, you go to the one that told you things you didn't know. That's why you call on your pastor. That's why you call on bishop. You told me things I didn't. But I want you to know that we are not the one because we don't know all things. Hear the word of God today. So, so I want you. I don't want you to be afraid of the dark. I don't want you to be afraid of the dark. So it says he went and he said, "I tell you," he said, "He says, he says, Rabbi." We all know that you know about God, so you can teach us. Pastor, you better get a mic. Because uh -oh. I'm not, my, my eyes ain't that good today. My eyes really ain't that good today. He said, I, we all know that you are a man of God, so you can teach us. We all know that, am I? Pastor, you might, might, might better help me. You get, do you have it? I do. You got it. Yes, that, that, verse, that verse, he said, we all know that you are uh, uh, a man. Uh, uh, Rabbi, he said, we all know that God has sent you. God has what? God, God, God has what? God has sent you huh? to teach us. Now, what I don't understand, you tell me, Bishop, I ain't never heard nobody teach like you, so that means I had to be sent by somebody you don't know. He said, I never heard nobody teach like you, so, so I can't be living in my own mind. I can't be living in my own understanding. Because if I was only teaching you what I understand and what I knew, I'd only be teaching you what somebody already told you and already told me. Uh -huh. Come on, bitch. He said, you were sick. We know you were sick. Stop letting people who you don't know is sent by God teach you. See, when you're scared of the dark, that means you're scared of the truth. Come on, somebody. Oh, oh, yes. oh, Are you scared of the dark? Are you scared of the truth in which God says you need to live out as a person? No, 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 no. I'm not worried about the person no more. The person is what got me in trouble. This personality got me in places that I, 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 I couldn't get into except I had this personality. But this personality also got me in places that it couldn't get me out of. You hear what I'm saying? Amen. Pastor, read to me, read to me. Praise the Lord. Your miraculous signs are evidence that God is with you. Wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. Y'all, 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 okay. oh my God. When y'all get a chance, uh, t tomorrow night I'm going to show y'all the miracles of God. I had somebody yelling and fussing me on the phone the other day. I said, just be quiet for a moment. And I got to my phone, Pastor. And I, and I, and I, and I began to scroll this office building in a park of Florida, and, and, and it said firm rocks to create the rising on the top. Then, then, it, then it showed in, in, in pink writing on a gray wall, it said firm rocks to create the rising. And then it showed, it then it showed a nice big, big 10 by 
10 by 15 office with, with a big old beautiful great desk in it. And then it showed a, a beautiful re reception center. Then it showed, and, and they know what they got doing. They said, Bishop, you got all of that? My God. I said, no, the, the, the crackhead got all of that. My God. I said, no, the junkie got all of that. I said, no, God gave me all of that. Because I was not afraid of my darkness. I was not afraid to witness about where I've been. I was not afraid to help you where you need help. And they begin to cry. They begin to cry. What I'm trying to say, you cannot be afraid of the dark and help somebody. Because most of the people that, that you want, that want, that need your help, they are in the dark. He didn't say Jesus was in a lighted place when Nicodemus came looking for him. He said Nicodemus came to a dark in the darkness, the dark of night, because Jesus was working. Jesus does his work in dark places. Now, come on now, you better say it. You better read to me, Pastor. Just re Jesus replied, I tell you the truth, unless you are born again. Unless you understand something you don't understand. Unless you let me take you into the serpent, you'll remain in the abyss. Unless you let me take you to the serpent, if you're in the abyss, you're going to miss me. If you're, unless you take me and let me take you to the serpent, then missing me, you'll remain in the abyss. And if you're in the abyss, you cannot even think of let alone be sent by God. Read, read to me, Pastor. You cannot see the kingdom of God. Huh? Read, Pastor. What do you mean? Exclaimed Nicodemus. How can an old man go back into his mother's womb and be born again? You need to understand. Uh, you're trying to understand something you can't understand. What, what he's going to do with Nicodemus, he's going to bring Nicodemus out of man. He's going he to he bring Nicodemus out of man and bring him into the spirit. Yes. But see, the problem about us, we, we've all come out of man, but for a moment. See, I am only here, but for a moment. But what I don't understand is there are moments within the moment that define whether I honor God in my moment. There are moments within the moment. I'm only here, but for a moment, but there are moments within the moment. That defines whether or not I am honoring God. So what he's going to do with Nicodemus, he's going to bring Nicodemus, uh, who's in a moment, he's going to bring him within one of the moments, but Nicodemus ain't going to stay there. But he's going to plant something Amen. that will make the Pharisees and Pharisaical and Sadduceical leaders honor God when they want to kill Jesus. My Lord. Do y'all remember scripture when he said, um, is it right to kill a man? Without a trial? Mm. This is where Jesus planted that sermon into him. Mm, and he made the haters on un a love. Ain't that something? Yeah, and this is why Jesus took him into the moment. How can a man be born again? How can an old man go into his mother's womb again? No, 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 no. How you're born again, you cannot, can't, I, I, he just told you you can't explain it, but the way God has, has shown it to me, I, was, I came out of my, 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 my mama's womb, which is Mother Earth. Hello, somebody? Yep. So when I came out of my mama's womb, there was something left. My, 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 my mama's womb, there was something left. Even though I came out of the womb, I remained in the seat of man. I remain in the seed of man. I still look like my daddy. I still talk like my daddy. Then my daddy became little to me. And I, I begin to talk like my friends. I begin to act like my friends. Uh, but either it was a woman or a man. Uh -huh. So when I came out of my mother's womb in order to in, into the spirit, I had to grow out of man. I had to grow out of the seed of man in order to enter into the spirit, seed of the spirit. Come on now. I had to grow out. So until I, what Jesus is about to do with Nicodemus, he's about to bring him out of the seed of man. Came out of the mama's womb, but I remained in the seed. At some point, to become spiritual, I got to grow out of the seed of man. Then I stopped asking, how can these things be? I know they can be if God speaks to them, because once God speaks it, it is so. Everything I'm upset about is what God has already spoken. Let there be light and there was light. Let Maurice be this and then Maurice was that. Let Nisa be this and Nisa was that. Let Net be this and then that was that. Let Helen be this and Helen was that. Let Net be a minister and she was a minister. 
My God. That needs to be a pastor. She was a pastor. Uh -huh. Let Marie be a bishop and he was a pastor. Why? Because God spoke him. Yes. Yes. So what you're doing, you're arguing with the spoken word. God. Hello, somebody. Talk to me, Pastor. Jesus replied, I assure you, no one can enter the kingdom of God without being born of water and the spirit. Without growing out of how long can I stay under the water? As long as the spirit says you can. How long can I stay under the water? So what you're saying is, <laughs> y'all better hear the spiritual baptism. What you're saying is, how long can I stay in this trouble? Come in. How long can I stay in this trouble? Bring that, bring that, bring that with you. Come on. I'm going to say, no, you're getting jazzed because you got on a new dress. But a new dress. Come on up with you. Come on. Now, Turn around, turn around. How long, how long can I stay under the water? How long? Oh, Lord, I thought How long? She's under the water. She's drowning. I can hear, I, and she's really under the water. I can hear, I can hear Mother, Mother Mary Lee. Bishop, you better get that, get that baby out of that water, Bishop. You better get that baby out of that water. Mother. How long can she stay under there? Huh? If she, if she listened to what man has taught her, she only got minutes. But if she listened to what God taught her in the spirit, she got at least nine months. You better hear the word of God. You better hear the word of God. If she listened to what man has taught her, she only, she only got minutes. But if she listened to what God has taught her, she got what? Nine months of history of being underwater and yet living. So I'm trying to tell you right now, however long you got to stay in your trouble, God said you ain't got to worry about your troubles drowning you. You ain't got to worry about your troubles uh -huh. overtaking you. Can yeah. I put you in them? Come on, yeah. somebody. Come on now. Stop yeah. being scared of the dog. Come on now. I don't care how long you are there, you are in your mother's womb. And guess what? Some ain't there nine months, some there seven months. Some ain't there nine months, some there six months. Uh -huh. Some ain't there nine months, yeah. some stay nine and then they go straight to heaven. You better hear them. Whatever God's will is, it's going to be done. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't test the water. Jesus, move your hand. She's still alive. <laughs> She's still alive. She's still alive. <laughs> and y'all notice something. Huh? Y'all notice something. She ain't screaming. She ain't yell, hey, Sister Major, Marjorie. She ain't scream. She ain't yell. Yeah, she, see? She ain't scream. She ain't yell. That even got dark. My Lord. And she don't even know it. So y'all, when y'all in y'all trouble, y'all in y'all trouble, and, and, and y'all, all y'all see it is every, the longer it lasts, the darker it gets. And it just got darker, and she don't even know it because she know the one who put her there. Amen. She know the one. Who put it there? Are we all right? Amen. Glory. All right. So then, all I know is, whenever God says, bring her up out of the water, Amen. she's going to be alive. Yeah. When you're going through what you're going through, <laughs> whenever God brings you out, you're going to be alive. Yes. Now go on. <laughs> <laughs> so my point is, why are you, are you scared of the dark? Because you don't know who put you in the darkness. You could not have, you, what, what, you know, whatever you are, forget respect, honor God. God never said respect your mom and daddy. He said honor your mom and dad. In other words, he was telling you this is what I got for you. I ain't got no respect for you. No, that's why I, that's why you get mad at me because you want me to respect you. He said I got something greater than respect. I got honor for you. Uh -huh. Come on, Bishop. I ain't got no That's why we get mad at God. God, if you respect me, you wouldn't let this happen to me. God said, don't worry. Honor will take care of what respect takes. Amen. That's right. Honor will take care of. Amen. Amen. You don't believe that? Huh? I have not respected myself, but I'm still living because of the honor of God. You have not respected me, but I'm still living because of the honor of God. There are places I have not respected you, but my respect couldn't kill you because God honor overrides respect. Yeah. Amen. My God, my God. Get in the place of honor. Yeah. Then you won't be.
be scared of the dark. Come on, somebody. Yes, it's going to be over when God says it's over. In the meantime, I'm going to live through it. Yes, 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 yes. Come on. The problem is, I'm looking for the over and not the living. I can't live until I get, I can't live until I get over this. Mm -hmm. So what are you saying? While I'm in it, I'm dying? Oh. While I'm in it, I'm dead? And you're afraid of dying, that's why you're frustrated, that's why you're upset with everybody, because you don't understand that you are living in what you are, uh, what you're worried about getting over. Oh my God. I wish this was over. When this get over, I'm going to start going to church, because then I know God loves me. Baby, you find God while you're in it. Why you find God while you're going through it. Yeah. You're worried about getting over and you're going to miss the experience that will experience of being with God. Yeah. That's good. Come on. Get on the dog. Read to me, Pastor. Humans can reproduce. Holy smoke. Humans, 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 humans are controlling you. You're letting humans control you. Huh? One thing about when you make yourself mad, you get over it quickly. One thing about when you make yourself mad, you're quickly going to forgive yourself. But when a human make you mad, huh? You're going to wear that thing out. And the worst thing, when they, when they get to the place where, 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 where they, 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 I know I'm making you feel bad, now for the ride, I'm, I'm going to make that road long as sunrise from, from the Atlantic Ocean to the Everglades. I'm going to ride it out. When you have the power of the Spirit, humans don't affect you. Humans have no power over you. But you'll never see the essence of that until you come out of your own darkness. Amen. See, what happens is when I'm in my darkness, I'm gonna get it's gonna get so dark one day. I'm gonna, I'm gonna tell somebody. I'm gonna tell somebody, it's gonna get so dark one day. I'm gonna tell somebody. It's gonna get dark, so dark one day. I'm gonna tell somebody. You don't confess your darkness to one person. The only, he said, confess your sins unto man. He said, confess your darkness unto yourself. You confess your, you confess your darkness to everybody. Amen. I'm scared of the dark. Why don't I confess my darkness to her? Hug me, baby. She loved me today. I love her today. But here comes Sporty Woody Joe. I got a, I got a Mercedes. Joe got a baby. And then I cheat on her. And Joe with the business started looking better and better than his Mercedes. And then what happened is she trying to hold on here. <laughs> Now you act like you ain't never tasted this slobber. I understand them, but you don't you you taste this slobber before. You act like you ain't never tasted this slobber. You better stop it. Stop it right now. No, that's a special kind of anointing. Yeah, that's a special kind of anointing. Yeah, that's a special kind of anointing. Yeah, but Joe got that business. I done made a man. Joe business looking good right now. Uh -huh. And I done confessed my darkness to her. And guess what? Huh? When she leave me, come here, Joe. Oh, Joe said, so when she leave me, all right, Joe Bentley. So now when she leave me, ah. guess what I gotta be afraid of? Her telling my darkness to Joe. Joe. That's why you confess your darkness to the world so they have no power over you. Yeah. Yeah. They have no power over you. That's right. That's right. Don't be scared of the dog. That's where God does his best work. That's where that's 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 God's proving ground for you and his relationship. Yeah. I'm too close now. Go sit down. <laughs> Anybody with me? Amen. Bishop. When I confess it to her, she 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 made a vow, and she didn't make a vow to God and me. She can tell somebody else one day what I only thought I told her. Amen. But when you confess it to the world, 
You take away the power of the world. And then you, you form a relationship with God that says, now I see somebody get up here and do a, and I want you to hear this, and I've seen it in other churches. There's something called a confession performance. Performing a profession, a confession. And then once, once I tell you what your confession already told me, and I call you what your confession said you were, now I'm talking about you. But you the one said, oh, it was a performance, it wasn't a real confession. My God. When I hit you with your performance that you were trying to fool the people with, now when I tell you what you said about yourself, you got a problem. Bishop, that wasn't real. That was only a per. Scared of the dark. Scared of the dark. Your worst going throughs is your darkness. And as long as you're scared of the dark, you're not a light yet. How do I become a light? I can't tell you. Nobody knows. He said nobody knows where the, which way the wind comes and which way the wind is going. Read to me, Pastor. Human skin reproduce only human life, but the Holy Spirit gives birth to spiritual life. The spiritual life, huh? Spiritual life. Spiritual life. Human death. Spiritual life. Human death. I'm still worried about that. I'm still human. Yeah. And if I'm human, I ain't gonna trust you with my darkness. Cause my darkness might be so bad somebody found out about it, they might not have my mama might not have nothing to do with me no more. My wife might not have nothing to do with me no more. But God said, Are you concerned about them having something to do with you or me having something to do with you? Because your mom and wife don't have a hell of a hell of you There you go, right now. That's it. That's it. God will set you up. God will set you up with what you put in put in competition with him. You better hear the word of God. God will set you up with what you put in play. He will set you up with what you put in competition with him. If you put your mama as the greatest, if you put your wife as the greatest, if you put your friends as the greatest, God will set you up with what you put in competition with him. He going to make something dark with Joe. I can't live without Joe. I need Joe. Joe is one of my best deals. But God said, okay, okay, you're praising Joe, but you ain't praising me no more. So I'm going to set you up where, 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 where you're going to think if Joe finds this out, Joe going to be mad at you. And there go my daughters. I'm scared to lose Joe. So I keep Joe at the expense of God. Where they do that at? Wow. Scared of my darkness. I know. And you know the thing about it, and this is what I this is what I'm learning because I'm gonna wake up with Jesus every day and, and, and it teaches me every day. 90%, 90%, I said 90% of what, what we're afraid of never happens. 90% of what we're afraid of never happens. Well, why you did what I thought? 90% of what you are afraid of. Never happens. Can you see, Pastor? Worried about my life going on. Even if they go off, they came back. Ain't nothing eternal with God. 90% of what you worry about ain't even going to happen. Well, so and so said they were going to bust you up. Did they bust you up? Did they bust you up? She looked at him and said, I sure didn't, but I was going to. Did they bust you up? See what I'm saying? Uh -huh. 90% of what you worry about and, and, and consuming your thinking ain't even a matter to God, even a matter to matter. <laughs> but it's, I, it's a darkness I created. Why do I keep creating this darkness? Because that's where I live. That's where I hide. I'm scared of my own darkness. My God. Read to the pastor. So don't be surprised when I say you must be born again. The winds blow wherever it wants. 
Just as you can hear the wind, but can't tell where it comes from or where it is going. So you can't explain how people are born of the Spirit. Now y'all hear this? Y'all hear this, mother? Yeah. Read that and start where you started, Pastor. Amen. So don't be surprised. Don't be surprised when I say. You must be born again. You must let me renew the way you think. Amen. The problem with you right now is you think you know. And, and, and when I'm thinking, I'm not thinking. Y'all yeah. y'all y'all missed that. Oh, I'm too busy thinking to thank God. Amen. It's with this uh, uh, the hurricane coming. Thank God I'm gonna live through it even before it comes. Amen. But I'm too busy thinking about what the hurricane can do. How many that, how many of y'all been in the hurricane? Amen. How many hurricanes y'all done live through? How many times the new man made it look like this is gonna be the one? My God, my God. Huh? Woo, you should have even when even when they told you about the hurricane, you stopped thanking God, not thinking about the hurricane. You better hear the word of God. Yeah. You're worried about a darkness that ain't coming. Scared of the God. Y'all know what? Y'all know what? To us, darkness ain't even real. Because when there was darkness, God spoke away the darkness when he said, let there be light. Yes. So darkness, if God didn't say, let the darkness in, or, or reference darkness, then darkness ain't even real to those who are supposed to be looking at the light. My God, my God. I'm so caught up. I looked at Trey Sean yesterday. Mm. And I looked at him and I, when I heard him say, Ooh, tell, my, tell my enemy, thank you. We looking at a dark moment, but he he's in the light. Yes. It ain't real. Amen. See, it's trying to death is trying to tell us that that, 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 that he is no more. Amen. But light said, no more don't exist if God created you. Oh my God, stop it. If God created you. You're letting your mind be conditioned by, by, by the world and then you're picking up the world and, 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 and you, you know, it's, it's, it's like I'm at a football game and my team scores a touchdown and what do I do? You see everybody else jump up and cheer, so you jump up and cheer, but you don't even know what's going on. You don't know a first down from a touchdown. That's how Nisha is when she hit no football game. She don't know a first down from a touchdown. <laughs> but, she, but, but when she see everybody else cheer, she cheer. <laughs> Like they said, eat a tiger, and they said, deal a pamphlet, let's go. <laughs> Read to me, Bella. Oh, so, don't be surprised when I say you must be born again. The winds blow wherever it wants, just as you can hear the wind, but can't tell where it comes from or where it is going. So, you can't explain how people are born of the Spirit. Stop knowing everything. My Lord. Stop. Woo. Always having answers. Stop looking at dark situations and saying, I can't do that, I can't deal with that, and say, you know what, if you can't do it, you can't deal with it, you don't know the light of God. Uh -oh. So if you, uh -oh. how are you going to know the love of God if you don't know the light of God? Now this is what I want to, I'm going to take you somewhere. I want you to hear this and I might get even drop the mic when I say this, but, but I'm, I don't want to love nobody no more. See, because what God did when he, when he, he said, and, and the flesh became, and the word became flesh, we know the word is love. I really don't want to love nobody no more. Because when God made us all love, what did he do? He reminded himself that he couldn't hate us. So when I don't, I don't even want to love you no more, Pastor. I really don't want to love you, Michael. I don't want to love you, Minister, uh, 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 Minister and I really don't want to love you, Minister, and I ain't seen you in a long time, but I don't want to love you. You know what I want to start doing? I want to start guarding everybody. I want to guard you. God is love and love is God. And every time I say God concerning you, it reminds me of who I'm, who I'm, who I'm behaving in front of. Yes, that's it. That's it. See, a lot of times when I say love, I, I, don't, I don't tie love and God together. So I'm not that smart, so I'm just going to guard everybody. How are you feeling about me today? I guard you to death. I got Helen, baby, I got you. My Lord. My Lord. <laughs> Think about it. Yes. If you really knew the spirit for real, for real, you wouldn't have
have to say it, but 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 it's so many people using the word love and demonstrating otherwise that you almost got to say, I guard you. Hey, Deacon Joe, I'm guarding you today. I got you so much, even though you called me Maurice today. I still got you. Yeah. And that's what God did. He named us all love, so when we got on his nerve, his last nerve, and he couldn't do no more with us, he said, hey, love, come. Oh, I can't destroy him, because I, I just reminded myself what I named him. Right. Through the name, he takes care of us. God, that's Through the good. name, he lets us know that we're better than we realize. Through true. the name, he lets us know that he, we're provided for. Through the name. Yes. Mm-hmm. Through the name, he said, I'm no respect for person. I name all y'all love. Amen. I don't care what your mama named you. I name your love Maurice. Mm-hmm. When I don't want to love Maurice, I say his first I say his first spiritual name. Then I say his worldly name, and it reminds me to love him. Amen. So I need to, gee, God you, man. Uh, and that way, if I start seeing God in all your situations, I don't see your boogeyman. Your boogeyman scares me. Your big boogeyman makes us be competitive. Because if I'm not displaying God, I'm displaying my boogeyman is stronger than your boogeyman. But when I look at you and God you, I ain't worried about your boogeyman or my boogeyman because God is taking care of all of this. Amen? Amen. Are we talking about anything? Read. Read, Pastor. Get me out of here. How are these things possible? Nicodemus asked. Jesus replied, you are a respected Jewish teacher, and yet you do not understand these things? Hmm? Hmm? In other words, you should, you, you, they say you should, if anybody should know, that's what he's saying. Mm-hmm. If anybody should know Nicodemus, you should. Uh-huh. If anybody should, should have been able to grab data and, and, and brain, 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 tell tra- tra- about the life. Bishop, all that power you got from God, you should. Uh-huh. You know what I told Deja? Baby, I, I, I'm your bishop, but I'm sorry. I wish if I could do something about this when I could. I'm not him, y'all. She's not him. She's not him. She's not him. You're not him. So stop letting your boogeyman fight. You hear what the word of God is saying? And look at God and everybody. I, I see whatever your situation is, God is in control. Hello, somebody. You wouldn't have the situation. Watch it. You, they say, you wouldn't, I wouldn't have the situation if God hadn't spoken the situation. <laughs> Baby, you wouldn't have the situation if God had not created you. Forget the situation. You better thank God for the creation. There is no situation that you are aware of if you're not created. Uh huh. That's all right. Amen. We 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 give ourselves too much credit. Come on, bitch. We act like we had to be here. We act like God had to make us. Stop competing Mm -hmm. and learn to accept all that God has made you. And when you, are, when you accept all that God has made you, you know what you're going to find out one day? There's somebody who wished they were you. Mm-hmm. While you running around here trying to wish you were somebody else. Come on, bitch. Don't wish you was this or wish you was that. And you don't even realize that somebody somewhere will settle for being you. My Lord. But, but you know what? They would, in other words, they would take your darkness over their darkness. So use your darkness. Now, 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 get to that part. Get to that part. I want to show you something. Get to that part where he said that the serpent, the serpent, is, he, Moses had the Moses had the serpent, and and, and you got to read it, read it, read it. And Mo and as Moses lifted up the bronze snake on a pole in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up. And Moses. Lifted up the brother's snake in the wilderness. He threw him down on the ground. So you could see what he really, what the, the, the pole really was, the serpent. Hit this. It was not a pole. It was not a cane. It was not a walking stick. Let me show you what this really is. Ooh. It's a serpent. 
And this is what God said. Now what I want to do is I'm going to let the serpent go back to what? Y'all better hear this. I'm going to let the serpent go back to what Moses needed for. In other words, he said, I'm going to use your darkness for your good. I'm going to use your darkness for your good. Yes. I'm on, I'm, this is really a serpent. This is really a dark place. But what you need it for? Hello, somebody. What, what you need Satan for? Huh? Come on, somebody. Satan, you try to kill me, but God going to let me use you. Ooh, yeah, right there. Satan, you try to kill me, but God going to let me use you. Come on now. Satan tried to kill Bishop, but look what look like God done flipped the script. And God let me use Satan in every sermon. Yeah, I was this. Yeah, I was that. Yeah. But guess what? It was yeah. not me. It was what God was that was going to let me use so you could see God. It's All really that. a serpent. That. It's really a serpent. But he said, Moses, what you need it for? My God. I need a walking cane. Hallelujah. Woo. Hallelujah. What you need it for, Moses? What you need this darkness in your life for? God said, what you need it for? Tell me what you need it for. Come on now. Come on, Tell me what you need it for. Come on, now, serpent, all them, all them serpent men that, that, that took advantage of you. And God said, I'm going to give one to you, and you use them for what you need them for. Amen. My Lord, my Lord. Ain't this real? It's good. It's good. Ain't this real? Yes, it is. What you need your darkness for? Ooh. Just tell me what you want. Because I'm, I'm, I'm going to let you use it. When it all because it wanted to kill you. My Lord. Read to me, Bethany. So the Son of Man must be lit. I can read this up. And as Moses lifted up the bronze snake on a pole in the wilderness, so the Son of Man must be lifted up, so, so that everyone who believes in him will have eternal life. So now, he got to be lifted up. He got to be seen by the world. He got to die. So the spirit can come alive. You got to die. And and, 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 and and death is not the flesh going away. Death is you being separated from God. And most times what's separated from God is the flesh. And God said, now that you have no flesh, you can't blame the flesh for separating us. Who are you going to blame? Heard a man this morning say, a TV man to say, you're going to hell for eternity. You're going to hell forever. And I'm saying, God said he'll never leave you nor forsake you. Now you can't have it both ways. Huh? And then he, then he came back and he said, what hell is, he said, what makes hell hell is God is not there. I'm like, so, so God is not in hell, but I'm going to be there forever. But he told me that he'll never leave you. No, for Satan, that means you just made my God, not my, not my God, your God alive. Amen. You just made your God alive. God says this, I will make you put value on our relationship. And the way God, where we put God value on, 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 on our relationship with God is when we when he leads us to ourselves. My God. That's how he puts value on our relationship, on, on your relationship with him. When he leads you, when he sends you to hell, guess what? Now you said, oh, I wish I had God. Amen. But you ain't saying it in words. You're saying it in deed. I mean it. In hell, I'm without God. And God said, I'm going leave to you, leave you here for a day. I'm gonna leave you here for a day. I was on the radio station in the park of Florida the other day, and I and I and I was talking, and and and, and I had to tone you have to tone it back because when you're on the radio, most most uh, most religious people listen to the radio, so I had to tone it back a little bit. But but after I got off the app, there's a pastor who was over running the station. He said, "Man, talk to me more about this day in hell." Wow. And then when I when I began, he said, "Man, you know what? Everything in me want to say you ain't you're wrong." He said, "But." You're making too much sense. My Lord. And then I told him, I said, if I'm making sense, you still ain't there. Just, you just on the way. <laughs> I said, if I'm making sense, you still ain't there. You just on the way. Because when you get to spiritual things, it makes no sense. 
Read about it. For this is how God loved the world. He gave his one and only son, so that everyone who believes in him will not perish but have eternal life. How much sense that make? How, how much sense that make? See, that's what I'm trying to tell you. He gave his only son so everybody else can know he is God. But how much? How, anyone headed to me. I don't believe in God, I don't believe in Jesus, and I don't believe in the Bible. At all. Because as long as I believe, I'm going out this building, y'all. I'm going out the building. As long as I'm outside the building and believing that I can come in, I'm outside the building, y'all. I believe I'm coming in. I, 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 I believe in the name of Jesus. I believe that I'm preaching inside the church. No, you ain't. You outside the church. I believe, I believe, I believe. But God, the devil ain't worried about you as long as you're on the outside thinking you can do what you ain't doing. But once I come in the church, I don't have to believe I'm going to preach in him. I am in him. I don't have to believe in the Bible. I am with the Bible. I have to believe in God. I am with God. I have to believe in Jesus. I am with Jesus. Come on, God. There it is. I am that I am. Am. Oh my God, thank you, Pastor. Mm -hmm. Glory to God. I am with the I am. Uh -huh. I'm not a believer anymore. I ain't got to say move in no more. I am that I am with Jesus. I am that I am with the Bible. I am that I am. Because uh -huh. I'm created in the image of the that I am. Never did God say you're created in the image of the Bible. Never did he say you're created in the image of Jesus. 
Never did he say you were created in the image of Christianity. He said you were created in the image of the spirit in which God is. So at some point, I got to start studying God. I got to start studying what I'm supposed to be. I got to start studying God. God is the finish line. I need Jesus. I walk with him every day. I need the Bible. I read it every day. But I reference them. I study God. That's why I can do things you don't understand. That's why you can, I can accept you when you can't accept yourself. Because only through the study of God do you get to heaven while he's on. You too? Mm-mm. Read. But anyone who believes who, but anyone who does not believe in him as has already been judged for not believing in God's one and only son. And the judgment is based on this fact. God's light came into the world, but people loved the darkness more than the light, for their actions were evil. All who do evil hate the light and refuse to go near it for fear their sins will be exposed. But those who do what is right come to the light so others can see that they are doing what God wants. Spread your arm one more time. Spread your arm one more time. Now they saw Jesus and didn't recognize him. Ain't that what he just said? Um, uh, no, spread your arm. Come here, come here. Spread your arm. Now, why would you pierce a dead man in his side? Stay over there. Why would you pierce a dead man in his side? And God said, y'all gonna be the world gonna end up being just like they they gonna treat me just like they treated Jesus. Mm-hmm. What does that say? They didn't recognize who? The light that came into the world. They didn't recognize Jesus. Watch this. So I pierced the dead man in his side. The blood hit the earth for the return of come here, God. For God. Now, Jesus gone. And who we not recognizing now? God. He right with us. In spirit. He's right here with us in spirit. And we're ignoring him. Why? Because we're giving the power more. We're giving, we're giving a, the power of a relationship with a book more than a relationship with God himself. The, the inspire of the book. We're giving power more to Jesus, the one God sent to make a way for his return. Uh-huh. And he said, just like they didn't recognize Jesus, they ain't recognizing me. Mm-hmm. Just like they didn't recognize. So when I tell you we got to start studying God, I have trained you over the years and yes, years and yes. years and years and years. There's something greater. Mm-hmm. My wife will tell you, I still got the lost books of the Bible in my even though I ain't teaching y'all it like I was teaching y'all, I'm gonna, we're gonna get back to it from yeah, time to time. Yeah. But 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 I read it every day. There's more than what we read. Watch what he said. God, don't you say it to me in the spirit? You said, Blessed is the man, go over there. That can't see me, but know I am. Blessed is the man that can't. God is here where he at. I don't see him, but I know he's here. Blessed is the man that can believe without what? Sin. God is here, but I can't see him. So, so in order for me to be blessed as a human, come here. I see my house. I see my car. Those are human blessings. Amen. Those are not blessings that you have to give somebody else power. When you get, when you get a blessing, go there, God. I'm telling God what to do. You know he got to be here. But anyway... <laughs> But, but, but listen, when I can see God and know I'm blessed without seeing him, that means I have power to, to, to give to somebody else. But if I got to see the power, guess what? Huh? If I see my, my ever-ready battery, I don't care how ever-ready it is, if I can see that battery, sooner or later, it's power going to run what? Oh, out. Yes. When you can't see God and you know he's there, you have a power that will never run out to inspire people, to provoke people, to love like they never knew that they were used to that God. Capable, uh-uh. capable of loving. Uh-huh. Wow. I can't, 
apologize, saints, for what I teach. Because if I apologize for what I teach, then I, then I mean I'm, I'm pleasing you and, and, and appeasing God. Jalen, Jalen, give me my favorite word. Say never that. That was his favorite word, the little boy. When the first lady tell me to do something, and I, and I look at it, I say, Jalen, tell her never that. No. So I'm telling y'all right now, never that. This is a spirit-based church, and if you want to go beyond, if you want to go into the surpass, this is your place. If you want to keep, if you want to keep recycling, recycling, anybody know what recycling is? Huh? Repeating repentance. Repeating repentance. Re you know what it said? Going to the penthouse, coming down, and then repenting yourself. Ain't you tired? Ain't you tired of the miracle run? Ain't you tired of the up and down? See God. And if you don't see him, but know you see him. How much sense that make I just said? Made no sense, but it's as real as it gets spiritually. See God as if you don't see him. But know that you do see him. See God that you don't see him. But know that you do see him. Know that you do see him. Know that you do see him. See God. See God. I love you, Jesus. Stay ready. I worship and adore you. I just want to tell you that I love you more than anything. I love you, Jesus. I worship and adore you. I just want to tell you that I love you more than anything. I love you, Jesus, my God, my God. I worship and adore you. I just want to tell you, this is what, this is what God can do to Maurice King, that I love you more than anything. Y'all see this? This is what God can do to Marvin King. That's my office, y'all. That's my office. I'll show you what God can do to Marvin King. That's the reception center in my office, y'all. I can't, I didn't do this. That, that's when you walk in, you walk in one of those big firms and you see that nice, nice writing on the wall? $1.5 million dollar building, y'all. Who gave it to us? Oh, oh, oh my God, who name up there? Who, who named that being? I'm on now. I just want to tell you. Who, 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 who named? Oh, look at, look at that. That's a nice building. We got grab too, y'all. We got grab. God gave us a grab. And then, and then, let y'all know, I ain't claiming nobody's building. I parked my car so y'all know it's my building. Oh, you like this building, Mother. Oh, my, you ain't gonna, you ain't gonna. You ain't gonna like the other building. Mother, that, that building, that was them people building. That was the people building. This bitch building. This bitch building, this is his building. That was them, that was them, that was them people building, Mother. Ain't that wonderful? Yes, sir. Huh? Praise when you, when you're not afraid of your darkness. Come on now. Huh? God will give you a light that you didn't even know you had. Yes, yes. When you're not afraid of your darkness. Hey, look at that. Amen. Glory to God. Look at that. Oh, Y'all know who did that. Let me get out of that. <laughs> hey, look at that. Ain't God real? Amen. All I want to tell you today, don't be afraid of your darkness. Yes. Scare your darkness. Everybody blessed today. Amen. Amen. Everybody blessed today. Yes. Praise the Lord. Give God a hand clap and praise that word. Amen. I think the better thing to say is I always tell you all, don't be afraid to expose the thing that people want to bear down deep in you. The very thing that people want to hover over your head and um, try to convict you with, that's the thing you need to scream out the loudest. And don't let it um, be the leader in your life, but let it be the God thing in your life. Let it take you somewhere. Don't be... Don't be ashamed of it, because I promise you, as you bury it down deep and you try to hide it, God's going to find a way to bring it out. 
whether you like it or not. So who better to tell your story better than you? I tell you all the time, because people might tell your story and get it wrong. But you better tell your story and get it right. Then let them know, because what you're going to top it with, with some whipped cream and a cherry, you're going to tell them how God brought you through it. Amen. That's the whipped cream. See, they're going to tell you, can tell them all the ingredients and all the things that all the um, bits and pieces that looked at ugly, but when he baked the cake and he put it together. Amen. Amen. And they put the cherry on top of it. You're going to say that was God all along. Yes. What you didn't see is all the different broken pieces, all the separate, great, separated pieces, praise God. You didn't see that part, so you didn't see the beauty of it all. Amen. But what God brought it together, he baked that cake and put that thing, he put that cherry on top. Praise God. Amen. So don't be afraid of your darkness. I promise you, I tell you all the time, and I share all my things and everything with you all, because I tell you, I cannot be effective for God if I'm hiding and being hypocritical. Amen. I tell you all, I share things in my life, and I tell you I share things in my journey, because I say, how can God use me as he needs to use me to help you all and to teach you all and to preach you all, yet I expose myself. Amen? Amen. I praise God, and I bless God for that word. Come on, give God a hand clap of praise for that word. What a blessing, amen. To be somewhere today. I truly enjoy it. Everybody, let's stand to your feet. I'm going to pray, pray, pray a prayer covering over our bishop because you all know, amen, when we get here with a word like that and when somebody is used as a sacrifice to deliver a word like that, you always know the attacks be waiting, praise God. Yeah. Satan, he wakes and he hides and uh, sometimes he don't even hide. He'll be right in your face. Right waiting for you. So we just pray for our bishop, praise God. Heavenly Father, we continue to ask that our bishop be covered in the blood of the Lamb, amen. That his feet be walking in your will and your way, Lord God. That you continue to use him. Let him come subject to your will and your way. That he continue to come subject to the teachings that you need for your children. Hallelujah. But that he continues to be the upholding and uplifting shepherd of this house, amen. And that his wife continues, Lord God, to walk in beside him, hallelujah, and of lifting this ministry for the greater good of the kingdom. So we honor you today for the work that you put in his belly, Lord God, that he expressed out to us, praise God. We just honor you today and we lift up your holy name and we thank you for that. In Jesus' holy name we pray everybody say amen. 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 amen.